So what about adoption? Let's talk about that today. Hello, welcome to True Love Talk. My name is Bridget Irabo, author of True Love More Than a Love Affair. And today I want to answer a question that has been asked um, over and over again. And you know, you have some Christians who are actually concerned about whether adoption is actually right, some wonder, is it a sin to adopt? Well, I'm going to be reading today from my book, and I'll also read to you some scriptures that should put to rest any concern about whether or not you should adopt if you're looking to adopt. And I'm reading from chapter 12, the last paragraph of it says, what about adoption? Yes, adoption is something that every believer should consider, absolutely. Whether they have children or not, it is an act of kindness, a demonstration of the love of God. Unfortunately, some believers see it as a taboo or lack of faith, especially if they are in a situation where pregnancy is delayed. Adoption is an act of love that has helped many children see the light of God's love. Yeah, some have testified that adopting a child helped their faith to receive their own biological children. Yeah, I've heard about that, that, you know, as soon as they focus that, putting their attention, their focus on the child that they adopted, they kind of stopped stressing. And because of that, they were relaxed enough to conceive a child of their own. And I believe that, and I also believe that the supernatural love of God just took over in that home and just, you know, where there's love, great things happen. <laughs> It says, we should always take our example from the way our Heavenly Father operates. We are flesh and blood and born children of, of God, created and born of the Spirit and adopted. The most beautiful thing about ad being adopted by God is that we were chosen. That's one thing about adoption. Adoption, you get to pick, you get to choose. And we are adopted children of God, even as we are born by the Spirit. It's amazing. God received us every which way possible. So he knew us from before the foundation of the world and still chose us. Is that not powerful that God knew you just exactly as you are? Your innermost thoughts, your innermost being, and he still chose you. And that's the reason why maybe you're in a place where maybe you've sinned or you've done something. But you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to run away from God. His arms are open wide and he's calling you to change your mind, to turn around. And there is something even more amazing that you have ever, than you have ever experienced you know, in your life, just by staying with God, not running away from Him, but coming to Him. He has so much more in store for you. Yes. And so He knew you, and yet He knew us, and yet He adopted us from before the foundation of the world. And He still chooses us today. It is a powerful and supernatural act of love to choose deliberately to love and care for, for someone you don't have to care for. Yes, yeah, someone you don't have to care for. It's not your responsibility, but you go ahead and you do it anyway. Someone you're not related to. That is amazing. That is amazing. But I'm going to read to you some scriptures. Um, scriptures settles every question that you have. It's not about my opinion. It's not about... And of course, I, I write my book based on the scriptures, but I want to give you straight from the scriptures today. Any question you have, the Word of God is is the sure answer because the Bible says that God has exalted his word above his name. So adopting is not a taboo. You shouldn't be afraid to adopt or be concerned about, you know, adopting. It's not a lack of faith. You know, you can still believe God while, you know, adopting. And even if you have children, it is a good thing to adopt, you know, because that's definitely is showing the love of God to someone else. So I'm reading from the easy um, translation. BSV translation, Ephesians 1.5. He predestined us for adoption as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will. Matthew 18.5. Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me. Yes. Galatians 4.5.7. To redeem those who were under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir through God. Romans 9, 8. This means that it is not the children of the flesh who are the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted as offspring. 
John 1 12. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. 1 John 3 1. See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that they did not know him. It's because of love that God calls us his own. And when we adopt children, it's because of love that they will get to call someone. Maybe you, father, mother, they will get to have a home. Now look at here, Psalm 27, 10. For my father and my mother have forsaken me, that the Lord will take me in. There are so many children out there who need the love of parents, who have been forsaken. How can it be wrong to adopt? Absolutely not. God wants us to adopt. Romans 8, 4, 14 to 19. This is quite a long one. I'm going to skip that, but you can read that. Galatians 3, 26. It says, For in Christ Jesus, you are all sons of God through faith. All this is about adoption. So I'll just read. Um, so, so many of them. So many of them. <laughs> Let's see. Um, just go through the scriptures and just, you know, one after the other, after the other. There's this particular scripture I'm looking for. I think it's in John 14. Yes, John 14, John 14, verse 18. Jesus said, I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. And so there are many children who are out there who are orphans. It is okay for us to do like Jesus did, not leave them as orphans, but to create a home for them a loving environment with a father and a mother who will show them the love of God. So yes, need I say more? Adoption is absolutely God's desire. It's not against scriptures at all. It's not a sin, as some may have wondered. So hopefully, if you're thinking of adopting, you go right ahead. You can do some more research on your own. God wants us to adopt. God doesn't mind us adopting. He's not making it a law that you have to, but the idea is that he doesn't mind it if you adopt because he actually adopted us as well. So until next time, like, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you in another Trilog Talk. God bless. Mm -hmm.